listen, I know it's been a while, but please, I have a perfect excuse for why I haven't made a part two yet. You see, um, school's starting up. I went on vacation for about like a week and a half. No, you guys got to believe me. I haven't been on this server for a while. Please, you got to believe why there has been a lack of uploads recently. Anyway, I'm finally back and um, it, it may not be the weekend, but it is a Monday, which does mean that I should be able to at least get one video out. So anyhow, um, this is how Libertalia has been looking so far since I was gone. Apparently, we allied with Vidoxia, so we're part of them now. So it's not really an allyship, it's more of just we're part of them now, so screw us. And honestly, this place has been dead for a bit, so yeah. But anyway, all I've really been doing much in here since there's been nothing to do and I'm kind of rich. And since Gaffro hasn't been on in a bit, I've just been making all sorts of different stuff. Like for example, I've been making... Here, let's see, I got some tequila going right now, some rum, and wine i'm actually trying to perfect the wine because we haven't been able to do that for a bit but anyway um, i've perfected the vodka which is pretty nice i've also although i messed up with the apple cider i can master it i also have green um i have my gold rum here here's four stars but i've just been afk for so long then i got um oh wait that's not mine that's gaffro's okay. And I have green Epstein, five stars. Looks pretty great though. And I also produced dark beer. Um, well, left keep leaving wine in for like 20 years. Beer's never been a problem. But yeah. Um, anyway, this place has been kind of lame. It's been pretty dead. I've never seen anyone on for a while. And Honestly, I don't like the fact that Vidox is here because they have people living here and they're starting to tear down the markets down here. You see those areas? That was Dabrio's little market area that had to tear down because this is where new houses are going to be built for people who, from Vidoxia who want to live here. And also, apparently Terry's going to have to get rid of his little hub here, I'm pretty sure, which... Yeah, things are not looking good for us, but however, Gaffro is still selling. Also, the bar's been really, really slow. They've been building stuff around it, and I haven't really been doing anything because people have either been out of town, break, taking breaks, or just not being online. And I'm just trying to find something to do here. I also completely forgot to mention the fact that I've been starting to protect the... Protect? Oh my god. Perfect mead. Golden mead. Um, it doesn't really mean much, but yeah. Anyhow, I have to just sit here waiting for this rum to age. This rum takes... How long does it take? It takes 14 years to age on O. You wanna know how long it takes for tequila? 12 years. You wanna know how long it takes for red wine? 20 years! Okay, I think you guys are starting to see a pattern here that you may or may not like, and I do not care if you like or not. But anyhow, aging normally takes about like, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour for it to age a year, which is pretty long, so what I've been trying to do, I've been just trying to find places around Libertalia that I've never seen, because honestly, I've never gotten a tour of here. I'm just going to be walking around this little place, I'm just giving a tour of the town, because I have no content for this game right now. Like, war was about to start, but it never happened. We're going to start off with the lower district, because this is where Vidoxia is supposed to start living. Um, well, we got the wall right there, little bamboo area, that's the main entrance. Here, let me get up closer. But before I do that, um, here's a little water fountain. Hold up. I meant to do that. Let me go show you guys the town hall. We just have a bunch of foxes here. Chests with absolutely nothing. And we have a meeting room right here. I don't know which flags these are specifically. Here's just a little entrance. This entire wall is being backed up with obsidian, so it's not like it's just there for looks, like it's actually there to protect us. There's also water behind it in case anyone tries breaking the obsidian, tries breaking in or using TNT. So that's pretty cool. Here are some of the lower district shops that were supposed to stay, but they're getting removed soon because, well, Pidox is supposed to start living down here. Let's build another library out here. And here is where you're starting to see more of the houses. You got some over here. They're uninhabited right now, but they probably will be soon because there's just a ton of members from Vidoxia 
joining every day and it's kind of not annoying I would say but it's just strange it's, I also don't like the occupation I haven't seen anyone online that's the problem I haven't seen anyone online also Vidoxia is huge apparently so yeah they own a lot of different countries or not countries nations like this one and they're all under Vidoxia but yeah that kind of exists here's Berliner's bakery so yeah that's pretty cool this is house area where he makes stuff he had mead one day I came in snooping around I found mead aging for 74 years which is actually kind of impressive I also know Hazel built this for a because I literally watched it under construction this place is pretty nice though I'm also gonna turn on shaders because this town just looks nicer with shaders on I mean I think everything's supposed to but anyhow we just have a little oak forest here in case people need oak wood because that's kind of important as long as we replant the seeds that's all right i think there's a little mansion going on around here um i literally have idea how to build your mansion signed Dabria. this is supposed to be tornadoes i don't know why it's still here though i don't even know if he's still working on it tornado owns that. i think we should build like a little mini dock or a little hut here something that looked pretty cool there's also just more of the wall and more jungle here this area would be very vulnerable to attack but it'd also be a very good place to set up a sneak attack for or a counter attack for us there's this house out here it's i don't know what that means vacant but for sale i'm pretty sure vacant means someone lives here but how can it be for sale if it's vacant but yeah this place has got a ton of glass i don't know why i might use some for bottles I also got awkward potions going on in here for no reason. Little top chest here. I would steal the apple, but I have the decency not to. I also have no clue who is living here. So that's good to know. I also have a little cactus farm down here. I kid you not, guys, though, when I say this, but over half of this cactus farm was used and not re-put. But yeah, this thing just keeps on going on forever, and I'm not going to show the entire thing. Because, well, that's kind of annoying. But anyhow, I just come all the way back up. And I continue moving. There's also a boathouse here built by Beam for... Who was it for? It was built by Bean from for six spin stolen ship. I think that's supposed to be a cool thing for it. Not sh completely sure, though. But no, this is the kind of area that's kind of dead, just with a bunch of bland houses that no one uses. Also, no one is ever out here either. Because, well, there's nothing really going on out here. Oh, I meant to miss that. But yeah, there's this place. There's a little lower area for this. But there's literally nothing in here. Like, I'm serious. There's nothing in here. I think this was meant to be a little bunker or something that just didn't end up happening. Over here, we got Dabrio's home, aka the owner of the Shire, aka our marketplace. There's also a grass block in here, which is pretty cool. You didn't know he owned a parrot, armor of glory. What has he got in here? Dabrio's to do list. Hold on. I was gonna know someone was in here. God damn it. Hope he's got no evidence on me except for the fact that he might or may not find this video, but I'm too irrelevant too, so loser. But for any of the small percentage that you might be actually watching this video, I'm sorry I didn't mean to snoop inside your house. Please forgive me. Hopefully, um, you don't kick me out. Okay, bye. Because there's literally nothing built out here, but I still want to show things because I have no video ideas that I can think of right now. I still think we could do more without here because there's so much potential that can be done here. I'm just not a builder. So I can't do that. Also, there's this little house out here that's uninhabited, but it's actually pretty nice. I'm not going to snoop through it because there's just about nothing here. And then here's our first little dock area for this actually pretty cool ship. I still don't know who lives here or who built this area. All I know is that it's pretty cool. Also, there could be so much gun down here. Like, 
this place is pretty nice. And I'm here living with Dr. Gaffro, living in our mess of a house. We got a little old, we got a chicken farm-ish, I guess. This guy, whoever lives here, has left, so he says feel free to take anything from this house, so don't mind if I do. Does guy have any rats? Does not. I need that for green Abstein. Abstein. I think that's how you say it. I accidentally went too far out, but yeah, here's the dock area, as I remember, as always. Pretty nice. Nothing much to be said about it other than it was pretty nice. But before we get to the dock area, um, I want to get to the... I don't even know what that is. It's like... A, you could say it's a tavern, but it's not. I don't know what this area is. I think it's a house that no one lives in. Here's our brewery. I was about to say bakery. This is Tornado's castle as well, so yeah, that exists. There are so many of these. It's insane. I still haven't built anything on here, and I don't plan on doing it. I'm just gonna leave it here. But anyway, and the brewery's kind of dead right now. The only thing we got going is bits of beer and wine. Anyway, as we start working our way in, this is the high district. Not the lower district, the high district. But yeah, there's just tons of houses here. This is where most people, most citizens of Libertalia just stay at. Just live in, do whatever they can. But yeah, there's also just tons of houses here. There's a stable. There's this little tower area that I don't know what to call. Another tavern in here that Yafro and I might start selling in here. Selling things in here. I can't speak. That's all right. There's the tree here where you used to be able to worship your pickle, pickle Rick. More houses. That's about all I can say we have here if I missed anything. Um, well, screw you guys, I don't care. But yeah, that took about roughly 20 minutes to go through. Congratulations, it aged one year, wow. Wow, such, such a great use of my time. Also, I turned off my shaders because I really don't need them killing my frames right now, but um, I forgot to tell you, I got the axe of subs. I mean, it's not very OP right now. As I start enchanting more stuff on it, it's gonna be pretty good. I also got the Cloud Slayer upgraded. So yeah, that's pretty cool of me. I also got my normal set of diamond armor and just the throwaway diamond armor that I'm probably just gonna keep making a ton of. Yeah, I gotta start making money till I could start buying mending because mending is something I'm really gonna need on that armor. If I'm ever going to go to war. That was another video of an epic Miguel runner. Make sure that you leave a like and subscribe. And before we finish this video, I'd just like to say the church has been destroyed. Like and subscribe. Okay, bye.